Now, the second issue is Allah described this for men. How come He didn't describe this such a thing equivalent for women? We get multiple wives. How come they don't have multiple husbands, etc., etc.? If you want to be really crude about it. So, this was a, another bit of wisdom. It was actually, I was asked to do an experiment at Sunday school. I was asked to conduct an experiment. It was an experiment with a bunch of teenage boys and a bunch of teenage girls. And to both, the question to be asked was, so if you could have anything you want, as many times as you want, without any restrictions, nobody will find out, you won't get any trouble, and it's not going to be, you're not even religiously liable. You could have whatever you want right now, what would it be? Okay, what would it be? And so like about 100 boys are being asked that are teens, and 100 girls are being asked that are teens. The boys have an ijma in the ummah. There's no like variation. I mean, other than spelling errors, there are, there are no, <laughs> there's no diversity in the answers. The interesting response actually comes from the girls. And by the way, the boys saying that, it confirms what Allah Himself said, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zuyina lil nasi hubbu shahawati min nisa Men were programmed with desire for women. Allah beautified it in them. Done. And just proof of that. The girls were the interested, interesting answers. Give me here five more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. Just two more, just two, two more minutes. They hand you the paper. No, no, can I have it back? Can I have it back? Just, I, I just thought of something else. Crossing it over. Crossing it over again. And then multiple answers. I can't think of one thing. My favorite answer that was given by multiple sisters, not all of them, but multiple. It depends. <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. Other, I just want to be with my mom. Some said a pony. Some, like, all kinds of answers. You know? The man I love. I got all kinds of... But it wasn't one answer. The point is it wasn't one answer. Allah Azza wa made us emotionally monochrome. We're just one way. Overwhelmingly. I mean, there are unique individuals that love books more than they love women. Or, you know, <laughs> there are those... <laughs> How do you do it? How do you do it? Okay. <laughs> but overwhelmingly, he made us one way. And so Allah described it. Now, I don't want to appease to sisters. This is my own conviction. And I, I'm not shy. Personally, I don't think I'm shy to explain what Allah Azza wa does. We have to be true to Allah's word. We're not here to make anybody happy or upset. We're just here to explain what, to the best of my understanding, what Allah Azza wa says. Okay? In my personal opinion, the rewards of women described in Jannah are actually more eloquent. They're more eloquent. I'll share with you an Arabic expression you might be familiar with. Rubba sukutin. Rubba sukutin. I don't know, the quiz is on Monday. <laughs> Rubba sukutin. Ablahu min kalamin. Perhaps silence speaks more loudly than speech. Allah Azza wa is silent on this. Not to say that there are no rewards, but they're beyond words. And this happens in the Qur'an, as a matter of fact. There are rewards for different kinds of deeds. But sometimes there are deeds that are so magnificent to Allah, that they can't even be put in words. So what does Allah say about those kinds of deeds? فَأَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Then the compensation of such a deed is on Allah. Allah will take care of it. He doesn't even say gardens and rivers and... Spouse, it doesn't, it's beyond description. So he just says, I'll take care of them. It's on me. That's the reward, by the way, incidentally, that indescribable reward is for someone who forgives somebody. Even if they have had the power to take revenge and they still forgave, then that person gets a reward that can't even be described. Allah just says, I'll take care of him. It's on Allah. Allah will take care of him. SubhanAllah. Now, for women's rewards not to be described is not to take away, but to actually elaborate, further leave to the imagination. And incidentally, no Muslim believer, man or woman, should feel like they're going to be shortchanged. Get to Jannah, you won't be disappointed. What am I going to get though? I don't know if I'll like it. You'll like it. What's the proof you'll like it? Surat Fusilat. Surat Fusilat number 41. Allah Azza wa Jal says to all of humanity, وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ You will have whatever you desire. You'll have, that's open to men and women. Whatever you want will be there. And then some. 
and then some. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدْعُونَ And whatever you might come across, later might pop in your head. Uh, you place an order for something later on. Oh, wait, 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 but I wanted that too. Fine, you can have that too. You can't just, it's not like you already placed the order, it's non-refundable. You're stuck with it. No, 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 you can change your order. You can order something else. Great. That, that door is open to both men and to women.